Hi everyone, this is Vicki Mayhew from Ardent Reflections Fine Art and I wanted to talk to you today about a program called Operation Christmas Child. It's run by Franklin Graham, that's Billy Graham's son, and uh, it's an organization called Samaritan's Purse that runs it. Um, and anyway, it's an opportunity to bring Christmas to the poorer children in the world who don't have anything. Um, and basically you fill a shoe box with gifts. They have these boxes that they provide, and, um, but you can use any shoe box. And you fill the shoe box with gifts and you bring it to a collection center or you can mail it to Samaritan's Purse. There are collection centers in almost every town. Their churches usually run them. Um, but sometimes it's community centers or libraries that run them also. So anyway, you basically fill it up. There's some basic rules about what you can put in the box. Um, there's nothing, nothing can be war related, no liquids. Those are the main rules. Um, no chocolate because it melts, but you can put in hard candies. And I'm just going to show you really quickly what kind of things can go in a shoebox. And this is not an exhaustive list by any means. This is just what I put in my shoebox this year. Um, I have a little collection of hard candies. Um, and then because I'm putting hard candies in, I have the next little thing, which is pretty important if you're going to feed kids sugar, and that is toothpaste and a package with a couple of toothbrushes in it. And then, you know, there's a lot of practical items in here. There's a, a soap box with one bar of soap in it, and then I'm putting in a spare bar of soap. Now, something I don't have yet, but that I'm planning to get today, is I'm going to put a washcloth in there and also a comb. I don't have those yet because I still need to go to the store for those. Well, and so then there's some other things. A small ball. I used a tennis ball this year. Um, and school supplies are, are really important for kids there. So, you know, I put in some pencils. I have 10 pencils here and um, a pencil sharpener. And I have a tablet of lined paper. Now, I had to get one that would fit in the shoe box. So I was limited in my size, but I do have a tablet of lined paper that can be used for school or for other things. Um, I have this package of punch balloons, eight punch balloons in the box. So either the child can have them last for a long time. Each, each time one pops, they can blow up another one or they can share with other children. Um, and of course, since I'm an artist, I put some artistic type things in here. I put in a box of crayons. Um, all kids like toys. I'm packing this box with a boy in mind um, because when you you can indicate who you're wanting to give the box to, and I'm going to indicate to it's for a boy. So I have a toy car in here. Of course, some girls probably would like the toy car too. I know I would have when I was a kid. And a little harmonica. And then this is a really practical gift for any child. It is a flashlight and a radio that never needs battery replacement because you crank it up to charge it. And you know, I got this at Walmart, so it wasn't really expensive. The child will have a flashlight and radio that will last quite a while. Um, I know eventually the bulb will burn out. And then of course, since I'm an artist, and I think every child should be able to explore their creativity. I also put in some watercolor paints along with the crayons and a tablet of this acrylic paper. I wanted to put in watercolor paper, but I couldn't find a tablet that would fit the box. So I decided that the acrylic paper would be good. And as I said, I'm also going to put in a washcloth and a comb. Um, and that'll be about all there's room for. Now, something else that would have been really good if I would have gotten it before I filled the box up with so much other stuff is a soccer ball deflated and an air pump. And I'm planning to put that in one next year because I hear that kids in, in a lot of these countries that these go to, 
um, really get excited about the soccer ball and it benefits like the whole village instead of just the one child. So that's something I have planned for next year or for my next box. I may do another box this year. A few tips. I used to get the biggest shoe box I could find. Great big boot boxes and fill them up. And then one day a woman that does the packing was talking with me and I mentioned that to her and she said, well, we accept those boxes and we, we we're glad to get them and we deliver them. But she says, we prefer that you actually use a normal size shoe box. It doesn't have to be this one that Samaritan's Purse provides, but just a regular size. And I asked her why and she said, well, they fit better in the packing crates that we send to other countries. And also, they, um, they're more fair because you get to these countries these kids have nothing I mean a lot of them don't have shoes they have nothing and one child is handed a box this size and then the next child is handed this huge boot box all full of stuff and of course the child who is handed the box this size is still extremely happy to get it but you, of course they're probably wondering why does God love that other child so much more to give him such a better gift? Because these gifts are handed out and the children are told how much God loves them and Jesus loves them and all this. And so it's more fair to give just a normal size shoebox and it also fits better in the packing crates, makes it easier on the on Samaritan's Purse to deliver the boxes. Um, and it makes it a little cheaper to deliver the boxes, which also you can put in five or ten dollars as a gift to Samaritan's Purse. You can put that in the box to assist with shipping the shoe box. That's another point. Um, so now instead of filling the biggest shoe box I can find and, and blessing one child way more than all of the others around him, what I prefer to do if I have the extra money to do so is to pack more than one box and then more than one child is blessed and you can still fit a lot of great stuff in just the one shoe box. Um, this organization is doing incredible work and a lot of these children point to this event receiving the shoe box as the point in time when they're, they experienced hope. They live in many of them live in hopeless conditions and they experienced hope. Somebody in the world, someone else in the world cares about me. Someone else in the world loves me, is praying for me. And that gives them hope that God cares about them too and loves them. And that someday life can be better. And there have been instances of children who have come out of this, who were later adopted and helped pack boxes with their adopted families to send and bless to other children. There are instances of one, one girl I heard of that, that uh, received a box and later on in life through a series of events met a boy that was part of the family that sent her the box and they ended up getting married. <laughs> um, and it was her box that he had packed. Um, and so I've heard a lot of great stories about these. Um, you can probably hear more at SamaritansPurse.com. Um, so I know my art blog is where I'm, I'm mainly posting this. I'm also going to post it on my weight loss blog. I know it doesn't have that much to do with art, but it's an important thing. And collections are usually done in October. So I'm sharing this now so that people can get busy and get their shoe boxes ready. So I really hope you'll consider this. Oh, and one more thing you can put in your box is put in a picture of yourself or your family. And your address and sometimes the children will actually write to you sometimes they don't I haven't personally received a letter but I know people who have so anyway I just hope that a lot of people will take this and decide to bless a child this Christmas and thanks I talk to you all later